Hello and welcome back to CTR. And in this part, we are continuing our quest through uh, World 2 of Crash Team Racing. Dingo Canyon. Dingo Canyon. Yes. Dingo Canyon is honestly a pretty simple track. Um, however, you can still get a lot of, uh, of time, a lot of time saved by making a very particular power slides uh, around corners and through a couple of the uh, uh, through a couple of the dirt areas. There's a fork in the road. Unfortunately, my unfortunately my audio is desynced. Damn it. What on the game? It's very, it's very, it, yeah. The, <laughs> the audio in game here is actually slightly desynced. It's very minor. It's like, uh, like a third or a half second, but it's there. It's it's kind of noticeable. Yeah. And this is why Super Mario Kart doesn't allow you to get uh, a power star when you are in first place. <laughs> Yeah, because it extends your lead. Yep. Uh, such is the way of. I mean, I was in second place when I got the, the one when I got the aqua mask, but yeah. It is sometimes maybe the best thing is to learn how to lose with grace, especially when you know the winner's so far ahead. There's no fucking chance you can ever overcome him. But this is the uh, power fantasy that you're really striving for. You want uh, a decent, uh, either defensive or offensive item, a help back with the with a blue perma shield. Uh, that way, you know, if you get hit by something, you can you can uh, either replace the obstacle that you hit, or um, or t or you know just totally ignore the fact that you got hit. Yeah, if only we could actually make use of this overpoweredness. We were we were ahead of we were ahead of the sec of Tiny by like one quarter of the racetrack. Nah, yeah, close to a fifth, but yeah. Oh, Crash is a sweep. Crash can only be awake for victory. Oh, much tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Hey, I am Papu a bandicoot, not a slug. To lay boom down big and prove Papu is world's best driver. Papu moves so fast, you munch drags. And they finally gave Papu Papu a voice. Yeah. Well, he had a voice in NC and Crash 1, but it was, you know, they didn't give him any lines. Yeah. Ah, damn it, I missed the boost. Alright, Papu Papu's turf. Yep. No shortcuts. Papu Papu throws a shitload of red potions at you, and missiles in this track suck. He's a witch doctor. Yes, he is. Yep, and you've been blocked. That will be a very frequent occurrence during this boss fight. Just like you. Uh, not anymore. Well, just like you did right there. Um, the best time to catch him is um, either right before he drops uh, a potion, or in the process of dropping a potion. In which case, the trajectory of the potion will miss your projectile. Hang on. I've always found uh, pop, uh, pop, and pop his portrait to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't tell what's going on with it, honestly. He's, it's... Like, does he have a, just a giant nose? He, he does, yeah. He's got he's got a big nose. He's got a headdress on that's coming down around his left and right eyes. He's got uh, war paint on. He's ready to kill people. But you're getting away yeah, from but him. Then, uh, but then his, you know, his chin is just so goddamn rounded. Well, of course. It's because he's... Fat, he's you know? he, he, has, he has two chins. That That's his first chin. You don't want to see his other chin. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, are we sure? Because you can see the Adam's apple at the bottom of the portrait. Um. Yeah, you can't. You can kind of see an Adam's apple. Um. Unless, of course, it's just another chin. Yeah, we don't talk about the three chin theory. Do we? Crash Team Racing, let us know right away that Papu Papu is likely made of Jello, bone meal. Human corpses, wump of fruit, and magic. A little bit. Yeah, because he has stupid boss powers. Damn it, I hit the button. I was not supposed to do what that. What the hell was that? <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, once you're at, uh, as with the river route, once you're ahead, of, once you're ahead of Papu Papu, the race is pretty much over. You just can't fall off the track. Right. Mind you, he does race faster than you do, but, you know, that's what power slides and shortcuts are for. 
golden key. He he he. Bapu not himself today. Maybe Bapu not eating a big breakfast. You are fast for be so small. Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more lumpy. I love that line. Him much more lumpy. <laughs> grumpy. Oh, grumpy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Says one big dude to another. Right, so, are we doing... Uh, are we moving on to... Nope, we're gonna go into Rampage Ruins. We're going to okay. Rampage Ruins. We gotta get that CTR token. Yep. Uh, Rampage Ruins in general is actually... It is the battle... It, I don't do a lot of the battle tracks. At, well, as in, I don't actually go back to do a lot of the battle tracks all, like, ever. But Rampage Ruins is honestly one of the ones that has uh, what is almost inarguably the best aesthetic for a battle track. The main issue that it has is that because it's got a, a, a level of verticality to it, it's very easy to lose your opponents in this one. And you can spend a lot of time not fighting each other because of that. Yeah, because everybody's like chasing after the tail, but the tail is being drawn out by the other guy moving also in a circular direction in the same orientation. <laughs> I rem uh, actually I do remember that. I do remember that if you fall in that hole right there, you end up in the in the kind of the basement over here. Yep. This looks more like a skate park. <laughs> yeah, but that's because all the battle tracks look like skate parks except for Nitro. Well this one especially because it's got stone ramps, um it has um it, it has like this this hilly uh topography to the center of the map. Well, honestly, though, I I have the most tr I have the no, most trouble missed. remembering. Damn it! The eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Got it. Yay! By the skin of your teeth. And you're apparently a full, a full second behind me. Nah. <laughs> All right, but with the purple, uh, well, with the purple CCR token done, we're gonna go and do the other the rest of the CCR tokens throughout the next couple of parts. Yay! Showing off. That you can reset your uh, you can reset your power slide. Reset? Yes. If you are power sliding for too long, you end up spinning out. But you can reset it. Was well, that just by letting go of it? Um. Actually, if you actually it's by applying more pressure to it. It. If you're if you're about to spin out because you've not applied any pressure, applying pressure on onto it will make it so that you do not spin out. Coco Park CTR challenge is kind of bullshit. You will spend the majority of the first lap almost in last place. But you'll be able to get all the letters you need to just concentrate on Hopefully, the race. Hopefully. There, uh, there is one particular segment where you might not actually get the letter. And, okay. that Well, that one was easy to get. Yes, that one. Uh, the first two are actually really easy. The, but the R. The R up there, that is actually a, a bit uh, difficult to get. All right, momentum and no, okay, go, go, go around yeah, again. No, momentum doesn't count because it's on, because it's on a hill in the grass. It's like second down. You got two more chances. Uh, I mean, you can you can call it that if you really want, but to be perfectly honest, uh, I would not use football terminology in connection with uh, with catch with crash team racing. Yeah. Well, only because I've been watching a shitload of football lately. Oh? Yeah. Uh, yeah! Got it. Okay, and we're in second place, about to join first because Crash got dunderheaded. Uh, by a TNT break. It's his new Halloween mask. It explodes. Along with his face. Uh, that sounds like a very dangerous Halloween. I will admit that I don't honestly know the uh, the fastest power slide routes through Coco Park, and I have to admit that for a majority of the courses. But I I know I know enough about the game to actually perform mostly well. I think the problem with Coco Park is that it's too easy. Like there are so many right there are so many right answers to the question of when the power slide that 
you will have difficulty finding exactly what the biggest payoffs are. Alright, so next we're gonna do Tiger Temple, I take it? Maybe. Yeah, we're doing Tiger Temple next. So now would you would you agree that more difficult short more difficult courses have fewer options to get the biggest bang for your buck? No, actually, because one of the, the one of the most difficult tracks in the game uh, to me is actually Oxide Station, which is oh damn it, that T is way over there. Two more laps. Which uh, which actually only has like oh, uh, Oxide Station, uh, although I'm spoiling it a little bit, really only has one correct answer when it uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to uh, when when you're allowed to power slide. Mm. Uh, throughout most of the course. So fewer options. One, uh, one option. Significantly. <laughs> uh, signi uh, 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 like exactly one option, honestly. Uh, uh, with, uh, with that being said, I think Crash Cove is honestly the easiest course in the game. Um, it's not the course that I'm best at, to be perfectly honest. Uh, to be honest, I think my personal best course is actually Engine Labs, which we'll be seeing much later on. <laughs> it's okay. We got, we got one letter. Two laps. One half lap. Bounce. Bounces. I also really hate these statues over here. <laughs> I, I don't hate the statues, but they are somewhat troublesome. I remember many an occasion when I was doing well, but I got burned at the last second because I thought I was going to make the timing. Uh, no, no, you you, can, you cannot level. approach the R from outside. You must take the super secret hidden shortcut. Yes, you must. Mind you, I had a TNT crate at, the, uh, point, at that point during uh, this lap, so I was going to get it. It's not like the game, at, at least when you're in first place, you can still, for example, you just got a bomb. That will open up a shortcut, even though you're in first place. So... We are letting the leader get even no! more lead. And then burn. Oh, oh lucky burn. you. Very lucky us. The opposite would have happened to me. Yeah, come on, Slow R. Down. R. There. All right. Maintain speed. Now we just have to it. Because we took the shortcut, winning should be no problem. Fuck up your opponents. Opponent has been fucked up. That uh, purr is throwing bombs at us, though. It's okay. There we go. Did Pura collect the letters? No. No, Pura did not. Can Pura spell? No. Pura might be on the spells. I mean, she's a rather intelligent cat. She's Coco's pet, after all. And next up, we will be doing, based on our direction, uh, uh, Poppy Pyramid? Yeah, Poppy Pyramid. Yay. We got more letters to collect. Yep, more CTR tokens. Alphabet soup. It again. Uh, it's both times I've missed the, the jumpstart on Papu Pyramid. Jeez. You only really need to worry about that when you're going against other human players. True, but uh, but the AI does know how to do it. Yeah. The AI oh, even. Look, I'm in front. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. In, in second place, and they, and they gave me the extra static. I'm actually okay at Papu Pyramid at least against the. I, I can't do shit against players, though. And, ah! ah alright, alright. We saw the uh, two letters. You know to get T and R? Spelling. T and R. You know, you gotta try to get T and R. Why? So you get the token. I see what you did. Uh, <laughs> I'm not actually that impressed. To be perfectly honest, it's too easy. Kind of lame and cheesy. There we go. And T. So uh, you mentioned early uh, and one of the earlier parts that you actually have uh, fond memories playing C uh, CTR. Have you actually uh, ever gone for 100 percent? Probably, um, or damn near close to it. Um, 
I do. I, I definitely beat the game. I beat Oxide. I probably went around and got all the tokens. And all the... Actually, no, I, so... So true... True 100% completion, unfortunately, in the Crash universe, means you have to get Platinum Relics in all the courses. So, no, I probably... No, I do not count the Platinum Relics. Uh, honestly, I... Uh, if, you want, if you want my personal opinion, getting Gold Relics is honestly true 100% because that is what uh, unlocks the, se the secret 101st uh, uh, gem percentage uh, and, uh, and warped. No, the... Um, yes, yes, you are right. Well, only only because you need to get so many gold relics in order to unlock the levels. That's, that's where the extra completion percentage comes from. Because there are hidden levels in the game. There's some that say you need 15, the part is over. There's some that say you need 20, the part is over. And there are some that say you need 25, the part is over.